Hello, and thank you for visiting the Research Commission, where we use biology and chemistry to explain our favorite video game monsters. I'm Professor Argensum. Today we are looking at another fine specimen, the Puke Puke. This monster is mainly found in the ancient forest, but has been spotted occasionally in the wild spire waste. It's smaller than other bird wyverns, at an average of 1,157 centimeters. While the monster is mostly green, providing ample camouflage to avoid predators, its feathers can change colors to reflect its mood, turning a bright red when enraged. The puke puke is an herbivore, eating nuts, seeds, and other plants around the forest. While rather docile, it's not afraid to defend itself when threatened. It does so with the use of- Professor, we have an emergency! Come quick! What's wrong? It's Rena! She's hurt! Mmm... Rena, what's wrong? Ugh, Professor, it hurts. I think I got poisoned. How did this happen? So there we were in the ancient forest, hot on the trail of our monster. We're getting close. Hmm. They're on to something. Let's check it out. Hang on. And then we came upon it. The Puke Puke. No need to fear. As long as we don't bother it, it won't bother us. But then we noticed it was acting strange. Hey, what is that? I don't know, but it's freaking out the Puke Puke. And that's when I got aggressive. Oh no, look out! Long story short, it attacked and I got poisoned. You gotta help me, Professor. Give me an antidote. I'm sorry to hear that you're in such rough shape. The bad news is, I can't help you. What? What do you mean you can't help me? So, my expertise lies in the monsters found in the Coral Highlands. I don't know much about this monster and its poison. So what are we gonna do? I would really rather not die today. Hmm. I got it. A colleague of mine studies the ancient forest. I'm sure she should be able to help. Follow me. Rena, Poco, I'd like to introduce you to Professor Platinum, expert on the ancient forest. Hajimimashite, Dojo Ryosuke. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, hi. Can you help me? Sure, what can I do for you? Daijoubu, what seems to be the trouble? Doshimashita ka? How can I help? <sighs> I was on the recent hunting expedition to study the Puke Puke when I- <sighs> The good old Puke Puke, the farmers of the ancient forest. Farmers? Yes, a lot of the plants in the forest have a low germination rate due to a hard shell that covers them. That's where our feathery friend comes in. After it eats them, those seeds are scattered across the forest, deshelled, and ready to grow. Hey, did you know that the Puke Puke's tongue is more than four meters long? Okay, that's great. But this is important. I got poisoned during the fight. I need your help. We were wondering if you had an antidote for the Puke Puke's venom. Chigao, the Puke Puke is not venomous. I'm sure you've heard the old saying, if you bite it and get sick, it's poisonous. But if it bites you and you get sick, it's venomous. Sure, but I don't think Rina bit the Puke Puke. True, but the poison can't be spread in other ways than just ingestion. Poison can be absorbed through the skin or inhaled as well. Both ways are how this monster spreads its poison. Therefore, the Puke Puke is poisonous, not venomous. Great. Now that we've got that out of the way, do you have an antidote for this poison? I've got all kinds of antidotes. There are many different types of poison in the ancient forest. There was this one time I tried one of the mushrooms I found. I was vomiting for hours. Wicked stuff. The trick to making a good antidote is knowing just what kind of poison you're dealing with. What kind of poison does the Puke Puke carry, Professor? Well, what kind of poison it is is a vague question, Baka. Poison comes in a couple different classifications depending on what kinds of cells they target. Cytotoxins destroy various cells and organs. There are hemotoxins that attack blood cells, making you hemorrhage. There are also neurotoxins that affect the nervous systems. Those are nasty. Each type has its own set of symptoms, and every individual poison has its own antidote. What are you feeling right now, Rena? It feels like I got run over by a bear off. No uncontrollable bleeding anywhere or sudden bruising? No. Well then, I'm gonna say it's safe to say it's not a hemotoxin and you aren't paralyzed or ceasing unconscious or dead, so it's safe to say it's also not a neurotoxin either. Looks like we have our winner, it's a cytotoxin! Okay, 
Give me an antidote for cytotoxins. Motiron, which one? There are many cytotoxins. There's cytotoxin 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. There's BC1 through 5, and there's at least 10 different kinds of amatoxin. There's phallocin, then there's the other phallocin, and then there's phallocacin. Professor, please, stop. How do we know which poison the Puke Puke uses? We look at how it acquires its poison. A lot of venomous snakes synthesize their own poison. Some mammals have been known to rub poisonous substances on their fur to deter predators, but most non-venom producing animals acquire their poison through their diet. You've encountered this monster. What does its diet consist of? Um, like you said, it's an herbivore. I've seen it eat mushrooms, spore puffs, poison cups, scatter nuts. The Puka Puka and its scatter nuts! There aren't many monsters that use weapons like this monster. It will pick up an item in the forest, like scatter nuts, and store them in their mouths and coat them with the poison. Then they shoot them at their predators, and they still maintain their effect! So when it shoots its poison coat or scatter nuts and you're poisoned and stunned, it's genius! Most impressive. Right, this thing is so cool. So with those things it eats, we know the Puka Puka has got plenty of poison to choose from. It does help narrow it down though. Oh my god, we are never going to figure out what the poison is at this rate. Oh, I already know what the poison is. The Puka Puka uses beta manitin, a type of amatoxin. When it consumes the mushrooms and poison cups, it stores the poisonous proteins in its poison sacs. When it's preparing an attack, it excretes this poison from its poison sacs and mixes it with its saliva. This makes for a bomb-ass weapon. Wait, you knew all along? What about the poison gas from its tail? What's that one? No, no more questions. Actually, the poison in its tail is the same thing, and it's not a poisonous gas. Instead of mixing the beta amanitin with the saliva in its mouth, it mixes it with a highly pressurized water and carbon dioxide, then like a shaken bottle of soda. Professor, please, stop. The mixture explodes into a cloud of aerosolized toxin! Antidote. This is fascinating. What is the poison's mechanism of action? No. The beta amanitin once absorbed goes through the bloodstream and starts attacking organs. It is an inhibitor of RNA polymerase 2. RNA polymerase 2 is what reads DNA and begins the process of making protein. Beta amanitin breaks down the cells and it prevents the repair of the organs. Eventually the poor victim dies of organ failure. It's a pretty unfortunate death. Quite so, ne. Truly fascinating. Who knew there were such interesting monsters in the ancient forest? Right, Rena? Oh. I guess I should probably give her that antidote now before it's too late. Hey, fun fact, did you know that-